Hey guys, what's up, Libra? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like this, contact me for a personal reading. Uh, that information is below as well. I am phasing out my Etsy shop, so uh, if you're interested in a reading, check out my website and i will put a promo code below for you guys so you can uh, get 10 percent off your first purchase all right so libra um somebody stressed as fuck i don't know if that's you or somebody around just like they're just sitting there waiting 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 contemplating doesn't look like they've made any moves or like anybody's really making any moves but all i seen there was a whole lot of freaking worry you got the world the four of cups and the two of wands there's a chapter that's closing, right? Somebody may just be really inattentive right now. Somebody help could be not feeling well or just kind of like really introverted, really disconnected, really confusing. Somebody could have whatever it is. There's a lot of doubt that things are going to move forward or it could just be some stubbornness or maybe even self-doubt. But that's that it feels like that couldn't be further from what's right. Because with the world here, that's Capricorn energy, but there could be like boundaries that were put on a situation or this could be something that like it feels like it's ending. This is a cycle it's changing just like the season. So with the four of cups here, that's cancer energy. There could have been a missed opportunity, but this feels more like somebody who it's like something's right there. But sometimes we have to reach out and grab it. Sometimes, you know, for whatever reasons we don't, maybe we get busy with other things, but I don't want that to be self-doubt because for the outcome, you're ending with a two of wands. So it does feel like something's going to move or open up around this situation that there's a lot of like serious doubt that it's going to even happen. Show me this world for Libra, please. Ah, show me this world. All right. The Ten of Wands. You're working really hard to change something. And or, you know, whoever you're dealing with. It's not easy, but somebody is like putting in the work, putting in the effort. You could just be pulling away from really rough times. For some, from uh, for some, you could be moving, traveling, like literally across the world. But you're really putting in a lot of effort to bring some type of change, and things are moving. Because with the Six of Swords, I mean, you could be leaving something behind, someone behind, or just like difficult times. Show me that Six of Swords, please. Yeah, the Strength card. Oh, sorry, the Page of Pentacles. Oh shit! Sorry. So the Page of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be anything from like writing a book to, you know, some type of opportunity that's almost like it's been waited for, but it doesn't feel like it's been there quite yet. It's not an argumentative energy. All right, show me this four of cups for Libra, please. It's the Eight of Wands. It almost looks like somebody here is not, like, there may be some type of phone call or messages that come, but it feels like somebody is not interested in communicating or not making that effort. Show me that eight of wands. Because unless it's travel, you have some type of communication that's coming in. But with that four of cups there, it's almost like that's, yeah, somebody's just walking away. There's, like, there's something that you're detaching from emotionally, like you're healing from. You're finding a lot of peace. Like you literally could be moving. Show me this two of wands for the outcome for Libra. The Knight of Pentacles. You're going to move forward and just kind of take your time. The Knight of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn energy is the slowest moving night of the deck. 
Um, but when it's, and it's fine to take your time, kind of just taking it day by day, or at least with the situation, because with that Knight of Pentacles, a solid offer comes at the end of that, a solid opportunity. So you're on your way. It looks like there's just a big cycle change that was here, and you've really worked hard to move past some type of situation that may have just been bringing some like turbulence to your life. It looks like a phone call is coming in, but I don't think it's. I don't, I don't, I can't tell if it, does, if it doesn't get answered or it's just like ignored. I don't know because it feels like you're in a good place. There's that solid opportunity. That's what I was telling you. Literally just popped out. For some, it could be around December, Sagittarius time. But um, what is that Ace of Pentacles for Libra? You're moving forward. You're kind of taking it day by day. And it looks like there's something really solid that pops up. Something that you're wishing for. Yeah, this Queen of Wands. You're getting fed up with something. You know, incredibly, like, beauty is really coming across here. You're no longer interested in something. Something that, you know, you're working hard to change and may have just brought you a lot of bullshit. Or a lot of, you know, not good feelings. You're in a really good place. Just take your time. Take it day by day. All right, Libra, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, uh, you can find that information below. Just, just go to my website. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.